Okay guys, we're going to get the boat up to, uh, to planing speed. Now the process is, as a skipper, first thing you've got to do is just make sure that yourself, that you're right to go. Now what that means to you as a skipper is put on your safety lanyard. So if you fall out, or if the boat hits something and you're thrown out, then the engine will stop. Plenty of people are being killed by not attaching a safety lanyard to themselves. So it's not an issue at slow speed, not such an issue, but definitely at planing speed, every skipper should be wearing one of these safety lanyards. That's why they're there. Now, putting that on first is your first step. The next thing is, before we get up to a planing speed, this boat needs about 1.2 metres of water underneath it because when she when she goes to get up to a plane, we're going to give it a fair bit of power, and the propeller at the back of the boat is going to drop down. This is nearly a six metre boat and it needs, at the back of the boat when we're getting to a plane, needs about 1.2 metres of water underneath us, otherwise we'll hit bottom. Our depth sounder shows us that we're in a couple of metres, so we've got enough water underneath us. So yeah, okay, the area is okay to get to a plane. Next thing to check is traffic. What, what other obstacles have we got around here which might prevent us, or, or are there speed signs? All the external factors which would prevent you getting up and going, going at higher speeds. There's none of that around here, so in terms of that, we've considered that there's no no obstacles the next thing to check is anything lying around your boat you know is there stuff that's going to fly out or fall off or whatever and they, I, none of that is, is going to happen here it's all okay the only the last thing is your passengers now passengers they walk around boats they 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 deal with fishing lines they do everything that's normal but they may they may not be ready for you to uh, for you to uh, to take off so what you've got to do is alert them before we do that though, let's just put this boat into forward gear and give it just a little bit of a little bit of throttle just so we know the steering direction which is going to take off. So we want the, the steering to be in a straight line. So we're giving it just a, a little bit of revs now without any, just using your thumb and your fingers, just touching a little bit of throttle and we know exactly where that steering is going to head us. We're now ready to go. I know what the steering is going to do. So a skipper would normally yell out, the normal boating term is, is everybody right? And you wait for a response from your passengers. If you don't get a response, you double it. You say, is everybody right? And somebody will say, or everybody should say, yep, we're right. And if somebody's not right, if they're putting on a jumper or if they're doing something, they should yell out, no, wait a sec. So communication between the operator of the vessel and your passengers is crucial for safety. So if everybody's ready to go and everybody's seated, then we're right to go. So the way to do this, we're going to, I'm going to give it a lot of power, get it up over that mound of water which forms underneath, once it's over that, there'll be less resistance and the boat will pick up speed. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to ease off the throttle a little bit and adjust it to a travelling speed that, that, that I'm comfortable with in these conditions. So here we go. you should look is over your shoulder because the risk when you're slowing down is if there's been somebody some other boat following you or a jet ski or whatever they may not know the way so they might be thinking you know the way so they, they've been following you but not watching you so if you slow down quick they're just as likely to run over the top of you 